Hey guys, ESL1 Frankfurt 2015 is happening this weekend and there is one main difference in between this event and last year's ESL1 Frankfurt and that is a seeding bracket happening a couple of days before the main event. So in this video I'll be telling you everything you need to know about ESL1, discuss the teams, the seeding bracket, the format, and who I expect to win. So first and foremost, this is happening June 20th through 21st. Uh, as you can see, as uh, me making this video, it is going to be four days left. Um, ideally, I'd make it right before the main event, but I'm actually going to be uh, an analyst at this event, so uh, I won't have my setup to make a video as I usually do. Uh, so getting right into it, the schedule, if you're interested in the link, it's eslgaming.com and uh, scroll around to ESL1 Frankfurt 2015. There are seeding matches happening on Thursday and these are all best of one. Uh, all times are in CEST and seeding has already been announced. They took the rankings from Join Dota, one matches versus eight, two matches versus seven, so on and so forth. And best of one all the way through, no elimination for the seeding matches. And then after that, the teams are actually going to uh, pick who they want to play. Number one, number two, and number three seed will all pick who they want to play. And the two remaining teams will be matched against each other for the main event happening in Frankfurt. And this will be Saturday and Sunday, June 20th through 21st. And this is what uh, the schedule looks like. So you can follow along all times again, R and C E S T. So moving on to the brackets, I pulled some images from the ASL one website as well as Liquipedia. And this is what the seating bracket looks like. It's a little bit more complicated than the, than the main event, which is a very straightforward best of three single elimination uh, until the finals where it's a best of five. But for the seeding bracket, they're all best of one matches, no elimination. And here are the teams. Let's see if I can fit it all here. Yeah, Secret is the one seed. Uh, Vici is the two seed. Cloud9 looks to be the three seed. EG4, five, um, six, seven, eight. And as you can see, they pulled this from Join Dota or Secret, VG, Cloud9, EG, IG, VP, Malaysia, and all the way at the bottom, Alliance. So as you can see, we have seven of the top nine teams, and then we have Alliance. Um, so Alliance gonna be heavy, heavy underdogs compared to all of the other teams. So there's nothing too strange about the seating bracket. The only uh, thing that might not be evident at first glance is that uh, A and B will go down here and the winner of this will play the bottom side of the bracket. This is very typical for tournaments to do just so you don't have uh, the same teams playing each other uh, over and over again and to get some variety in the matchup. So uh, the two losers of this will play and the winner of that will play uh, the loser of the bottom side of the bracket. And then um, winner's bracket is just winner is one, loser is two, and then loser's bracket, winner is three, loser is uh, four. So once you just win two matches, you don't play another one after this one. There's no dropping down from uh, the loser of G. And let's see, if you want to visit this, wiki.teamlinkwood.net slash Dota 2, check out ESL in Frankfurt, that's right there. This is at, from uh, Join Dota, and then Moving on to the main event bracket again, best of three, best of three, best of five, and it will be held over two days. So predictions, this is what the seeding bracket looks like. I expect Secret to go through easily over Alliance. Um, EG versus IG is a tough one to call. I think EG is in a little bit of a better shape than IG. Um, Cloud9 versus VP, this matchup's pretty tough to call, and Vici should be pretty heavy favorites over uh, Fnatic. So as far as I'm concerned, I think Secret will be number one, and then Vici will be number two. Um, again, number two and number one have to be on opposite sides of the bracket because uh, this is the match that they're coming from. So you can't pick like Secret and EG as number one and number two because if they both win this, they have to face each other and then the loser that can only get third place at best. So my prediction, Secret, Vici, EG, and Cloud9. Uh, this matchup is actually pretty tough to call, Secret versus uh, EG, just because EG did 2-0 Secret in Dota Pit. Uh, but Secret should have a very easy way into the semifinals, whereas EG have to face IG in the first round. Um, and then... Number one, number two, number three seed so get to choose their opponents. I fully expect first seed to pick Alliance uh, just because they're the weakest team. 
they're the most predictable, uh, they're probably the easiest to draft against, and they're lowest on the rankings. I think all signs point towards uh, first seed picking Alliance. Second seed, likely Fnatic. I think a lot of uh, the teams view them slightly weaker uh, than Virtus Pro. Um, I actually thought it was flip-flopped, but after like Red Bull and a couple of other events, it seems like the teams view it that way because I expected a lot of the teams to choose HR over Malaysia during the Red Bull Battlegrounds, but almost all of them actually chose Malaysia or Team Fnatic now. So I think second team will pick Fnatic and third seed will pick Virtus Pro. Um, and then for overall winning the event, these are my odds. Secret, 25%. EG, 20%. VG, 20%. Cloud9, they're going third in terms of rankings, but they've never actually like won a huge land with all these teams. So I, I think they're very, very strong, and they're aptly rated at number three out of all these teams by Joe and Dota, but they just never seem to win when it matters the most. So I'll unfortunately have to pick them at fourth just because I don't think they're that clutch. IG, not the strongest of results lately, been outshined by a couple of other teams, 8%, and then VP, Fnatic, Alliance, all combined for the rest, which is 17%. Um, but this is a very, very stiff competition. Seven out of the eight teams are going to be at TI5. Uh, and then moving on into the Vulcan predictions, as usual, focus on the number of games and number of wins, not necessarily the strongest team. This may seem a little bit counterintuitive uh, because you would think that the strongest team would give you the most points, but that's not mathematically true or even uh, true from Dream League. Dream League day one, a good example. Navi were favorites, but they only played three games. They were just so good that they won 1-0, one, 1-2-0, one, and then they just have three wins. So three games for Navi, and the second place team, which is actually NIP, they lost one versus Navi, and then they went 2-0 versus BU, and 2-0 versus other BU, and then they got seeded. So day one, NIP won four games, they lost one game, and they still got points, and three versus five. And even though NIP is the weaker team, they got a lot more points than Navi. So it's clear that you should select NIP over um, Navi in terms of uh, your cores as well as your shot caller. But for this event, the format is very straightforward. 18 best of three single elimination. Not completely true because best of five in the grand finals, but close enough. Uh, so your strategy should be pick two teams one from each side of the bracket that you think will make it to the grand finals, best of five, because the teams that make it to the grand finals play at least three more games than the other teams. And that is just too much value to pass up. So you should have three from whoever you think is going to come out of this four, um, one team who you think is going to come out of this four, and then um, pick a shot caller, a core from the team you think will win the main event, and then fill in the other two as you see fit. This one is up to your discretion. You can either pick, like, I'm going to pick Cloud9 personally because I think they have, they're pretty closely matched to Vichy, I would say, and they have a decently decent matchup versus VP just because I think the bottom side of the bracket is a little bit weaker just because VP and Fnatic are weak teams, even though they're both really strong, and top side is only Alliance, which is considered weak. So I think uh, the bottom side's a little bit easier, which is why I'm going to pick two teams from there rather than just one. So if the main event were seeded like this, uh, as of me making this video, the seeding event hasn't actually happened yet. So I'm just going to do a hypothetical situation uh, if Secret wins, picks Alliance, and so on and so forth. I would take three from Secret because I think they'll advance through to the top side. Three from Vici because I think they'll advance through the bottom side. They have a pretty easy round one match, and they should be slight favorites going into the uh, semifinals. And then two from Cloud9, as I stated before, because I think the bottom side of the bracket is weaker than the top side. Uh, EG and IG, they're both pretty difficult to pick just because I think that matchup is going to be very tough. And if EG were, let's say, playing Alliance, I would definitely pick EG over Secret just because they're almost guaranteed to make it to the semifinals, whereas EG and IG, one of those teams, have to go. Uh, and they can't cruise control to uh, semifinals. So I am going to go very heavy onto uh, Secret just because I, I think they have the easiest round one match. Kuro, Arteezy, and S4. Zai was a little bit too expensive for my blood. And I'll make Arteezy my shot caller. Bottom side of the bracket is going to be Vici, uh, Super FY, and Fenrir. Half is a little bit expensive, and Ice Ice Size is a little bit expensive relative to the supports. Um, 
And then I went with two uh, supports from Cloud9, although I might actually change to like, you know, FADA plus one and then um, maybe change one of my other ones just because cores get a lot more than supports generally. But there you have it. That's my theoretical Vulcan draft in case uh, the seating actually is uh, based like this. But again, follow these rules. One team from the top side, one team from the bottom side, make your shot caller who you think is going to make the win of the main event, a core, and fill in the other two as you see fit. And you can go to Vulcan.com uh, to sign up for that, and I'll put an affiliate link inside the description. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys watch the main event and enjoy it. I will be there along with Mel, Connie, a couple of my MYM friends, as well as a lot of people from Join Dota. It's going to be a fun event. It's going to be a lot of exciting games, good preview into TI. So I'll see you guys uh, on Twitch. Peace out.